Well, hello everyone, it's Carrie back again with you on the channel. Today I want to make a card using this Mischief Maker stamp set from Missing Stamps. This is from the Magical Collection and it's a really fun one. I'm also going to bring in the Agra Arch stencil, which has a couple different layers to it. And it also has the masks for the inside pieces. And I'm also going to be using the coordinating dies that you can get to go with this Mischief Maker set. So I'm going to start by taping a black piece of cardstock onto the back of the stencil. And then I'm going to put this in a box because what I want to use is I want to use my metallic mica sprays and these are beautiful i have a silver a gold and a copper one and i'm going to use all three of them now my box is coming apart here <laughs> so i might need to be getting a new box soon for this but i like to spray inside of a box so it contains all of that overspray and i don't have it all over my desk i'm just putting light spritzes of these mica sprays onto that cardstock and I'm going to set this aside to dry and you'll see what it turns out. It's so pretty when it dries on a dark cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp those mischief makers a couple of times to get a nice dark impression. And I'm using a Copic friendly ink for this because I want to do some Copic coloring. I'm starting out with some of my favorite blue colors. These shades are super beautiful. I'm using the B99 the B97 and the B95 for their school graduation coats or their school uniforms here. And I'm just going to color those in. I leave a little bit of the coloring in this video because I always do have people that request it. My favorite way to color is to start with the darkest and then blend that out with the mid-tone shade and then go in with the light shade at the end and blend through all of that to get a really good color variation. So that's for their little gowns here. I'm gonna call them school gown. I mean, you call them gowns, don't you? Cap and gown, yeah. So this, uh, the for the pants, I'm using some olive greens, and this is going to be exactly the same for both of them. They are, in fact, twins, and I realized that I missed the centerpiece here of the gown. And so I'm gonna go back in with that mid-tone shade and color those in. And then I'll finish off the, the pants. I'm using YG97, YG95, and YG93 for this section. And then I'll go ahead and color, You, I'm gonna use a little cool gray to color in those shirts to make them look like they're still white. But the gray shadow will kind of set that off a little bit. I also went ahead and colored their skin tones, their faces, necks, and hands off camera, but I wanted to show you how fun this hair is. I'm coloring them with kind of an auburn shade of hair, and I'm using E49 and then E19, and then I'm bringing in the last color of E15, and I'm coloring their hair a little darker than I normally would because I am gonna use some fireworks. And so this is gonna be kind of like a night scene with the fireworks going off. So I'm coloring them a little bit darker than I normally would. And I think it's gonna look great on this background scene. Once I have all that coloring done, I'll go ahead and use the coordinating dies to cut those out. And there are dies for the, the characters here and the fireworks that I have, a couple of them off to the right there. So I'm gonna use all of the coordinating dies and run that through my die cut machine. And you can see that they cut out just so perfectly. I love having the coordinating dies available. So I cut a couple of extra of those character dies and I'm gonna stack them up to build up kind of an embellishment for our card. Gotta get my glue going here and and then I'll just stack these one on top of the other. And then I'll put the colored image right on the top. That's gonna create more dimension for this card. Really give it a nice solid feeling. See that dimension there? It's really, really great. Now let's go ahead and reveal our stencil. And I can see that I wanna add a little bit of darkness around the edge. So I'm just gonna clean that off a little bit. Don't worry, that does come off with water and a little bit of scrubbing 
but my stencil came completely clean once I washed it. And I'm just gonna take some black soot and a small blending brush here and blend around the edges. Just give it a little bit of darkness around the edge, but look how pretty all those metallics look on that dark cardstock. I really like how that turned out. Once I have finished inking that all around, then this part is gonna be done. So I'm gonna remove that stencil. Just place that to the side, remove that tape very carefully. And now we're ready to add some fireworks to this card. So I'm gonna choose a couple of the fireworks. One of them is kind of a shooting star looking thing. There's a larger firework and a smaller one. There's that, that shooting star looking one. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp all of these down using some Versa, Versamark, yeah, Versamark sticky ink. And I've got these really great glittery embossing powders. I don't even think these are available anymore, but I have them in my stash and I really love how they work on a dark cardstock. You can use whatever you have. You can even use just lighter em embossing powder or glitter embossing powders. Those tend to look really great on dark cardstock. I'll set this all up in my Misty here, and then I'm going to place my magnet down so this does not pull that panel up, and then I'll use a, an embossing powder tool here just to make sure it doesn't stick where I don't want it to. So there's the Versamark, and I'm gonna stamp this down a couple of times, and then I'll use a couple of different colors of that glittery embossing powder. And that's gonna give us lots of shades of fireworks, it's really fun. So there's that second stamping and now we're ready to add some embossing powder. I'm going to go ahead and choose the blue and purple for this first round. So I'll go over to the side here, add a little bit there, put that embossing powder away, and then I'll add a little bit of the purple over here to the right. And I'll shake that off and heat emboss that. Now you are seeing a lot of that powder left over from the embossing tool, but don't worry, we're gonna wipe that away before we're finished with our card. I went ahead and added some green and turquoise, different shades, and then I thought it needed a little red so that it could mimic that red in the dynamite that we've got at the bottom of those fireworks. And then I'm gonna take the sentiment and heat emboss that in white right over the center, right over where we sprayed the mica sprays. And yes, it does work. You can emboss right over the top. And it says, if it involves fireworks, count me in. So that's really fun. And I'll go ahead and put these guys here. We're gonna line this up just like this. I'll go ahead and add those with some liquid adhesive and add that to my card base and that is going to be our card for today. I did wipe off that extra powder so here you can see the full card and look how fun they are. They're ready for some fireworks. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll be back real soon with more cards to share. Until then, happy crafting. Bye-bye.